Blue Troopers. I hope everybody's doing well. I'm uh, starting to put some pictures together for the next viewers build because you guys are already sending in a bunch of them. Remember, the regular viewers builds uh, are just put out whenever I just feel I have enough pictures. And you guys, of course, as always, are submitting some incredible builds, but an old, well, a newish problem has uh, started cropping up. Uh, some of the models, uh, which are beautiful builds, of course, promptly display the historically accurate broken crosses. And we all know that with the tube, this has gotten a bit on the controversial side. We're kind of rolling the dice. It's gotten to the point that even a lot of the kit model companies won't show it on their box art. And, of course, there are ways to photograph uh, equipment of that era where it's not displayed. But I'm not about to start trying to tell people you know, how to do their artistic expressions or change history or anything else. So it's always been my policy to just show them the way they're built and the way they should be. And I think that's the way it should be. We're not glorifying anything. But, uh, unfortunately, the algorithm is always on the hunt. So it's possible in the future that on the YouTube release, I may have to start making a small amendment to it. And don't worry, I'll take care of it uh, in, uh, you know, in, in the video editing software. And as much as I revile doing that, I'm not going to until it becomes an issue. But we already know I got popped one time and didn't even have the broken cross showing. So what I, my plan is, is probably to make two versions, uh, one for Rumble and one for YouTube. And of course, that means with Rumble, I can use the music I want also. And I'd also consider the possibility of just when I had a viewer's build, just putting a notification on YouTube and just putting the thing out on Rumble. But, you know, we'll see how that pans out. Uh, because clearly us model builders are, you know, a mad lot of evildoers who must be constrained. <laughs> um, so I'll think about it for a while. And, um, you know, I mean, I get it. These are first world problems. Somewhere some poor souls dodge an artillery fire to get drinking water. So maybe I shouldn't complain too hard. But we all are familiar with the argument and everything. And, of course, once in a blue moon, there's a copyright issue also. And... Uh, what can I tell you? I'm not going to let it stop us having fun. And uh, I don't want you guys to worry about it. I'll take care of it. You build your models your way. You photograph them your way. And we'll just let the chips fall where they may. Never give up. Never surrender. So that's where we're at for right now. Just a little something while you're sipping your coffee. Don't want to start the morning off getting everybody mad at the U2 algorithm and sensors. But, well, it is good sport. <laughs> Guys, you take care of yourselves. We'll talk to you later. Have a wonderful day. I need to just get out there. and I know those models are waiting on me. I just got to let the coffee sink in and get the caffeine flowing back into my systems. <laughs> and take care. And as always, model on. Guys, that's, uh, is that what he said? Never give up, never surrender. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm conflating Buzz Lightyear with uh, Galaxy Quest. Anyway, well, he still said never give up, never surrender. Uh,